Hey, it's Big E. Welcome to Big E's YouTube channel. Hey, how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's making through this pandemic all right thing, this coronavirus. If it's truly a virus worthwhile, if it's just a political stunt, I don't know. I don't give a shit. I'm going to say what I think. I think it's a bunch of BS. But anyway, enough about that crap. Today I'm going to go over you guys. I remember a few videos back, uh, I was talking about how I was blessed by my dot, had somebody bought me a winch. Well, today... After a couple days, I'm going to go over, I have the winch installed in the trailer, but I'm going to show you how to go about it and the steps that I took to do it, okay? So here we go. I'm inside the trailer, obviously. So as you can see, uh, watch my hand here. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. I just got it working here. Um, let me, bear with me as I step up in here. Okay, so this is actually the piece here. Let me move this. As you can see, it's for a... ATV but that means that it has this ATV mount as you can see now I didn't use it because obviously you can see I'm mounting it in the trailer but what I did do is these holes here there's four holes okay there's nuts that are doweled in there okay so what I did was is I took the uh, um, I took these four holes and I drilled them. You can see here. Here is my first. I got to cover these up. But you can see I drilled holes into the wooden floor of the trailer. Okay. So I didn't like the position there. So I moved it back here. So what I did was is which is hard to see. But on the underside of the trailer I put cross members. And I used angle iron like this. Okay. So basically what I did was I cut the angle iron. I put it between two of the two of the frame rails of the trailer and I welded everything in and then once the holes were there um, let me get my tape measure for you guys so I measured this is gonna be kind of hard for me to, to show you with my limited but what I did was I measured the how, how far it is okay so it's like an inch and a half okay so I used inch and a half angle iron I'm hoping it's enough we'll find out I welded it in but then what I also did was the position of it I took that inch and a half and so I set I divided it in half because you want your the hole to make sure it's as center as possible so you get maximum strength out of the angle iron for when you do put the load on on the uh, the winch you don't want it ripping out of the floor ripping out of the metal so you want to get that as center as possible so what I did was is I measured I took three quarters of an inch which is about the middle so I put that three quarters of an inch. I tried to put it in the center of where the hole is. I don't know if you can see that. And then I made a mark up here and a mark at inch and a half. So that way that would tell me that this hole, when this, when I drill the hole for the bolt that's already pre-existing, when it goes through here, it's going to be close to center as possible so basically what you want to do is take this divide it in half and put that hat the half mark whatever size even if you're using two inch you know you're going to divide okay so one inch would be middle you put you put your one inch mark there then that way your hole will be in the middle of this hopefully you can follow what i'm saying so anyway so here 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 it is mounted um in the trailer i decided to go underneath here I'm hoping that's a good idea. I guess we'll find out in time. But anyway, so they give instructions how to wire everything up with that. And then they give you two controllers like that. And the other one's over here, depending on how you want to mount it in there. Now, what, what I did was I'm using an old tractor bag. I got to get bolt chip, but I have vice grips holding it on, which is not probably the best way to do it. But uh, what you're going to do is we're going to disengage by turning this and you're able to pull you're able to pull the hook out okay see and then you can engage it by turning this knob back again and then I can take my switch and you hit the button in and so as you can see we have power to it um, I didn't have a chance I didn't have a chance yet to actually try pulling the car onto the trailer. I was just looking to make sure everything works. I'm going to give it a shot later to see how it works. But everything's wired up and mounted in and we'll see how this thing works. So next time I blow the car up, hopefully it won't be such a chore to hand ratchet in for 45 minutes. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. 
uh, if you want to put a winch in your trailer it's a little bit involved but it's definitely a nice thing to have in case something breaks and you can pull the car in the trailer so this is Big E like and subscribe please I would appreciate it um, I got some new uh, I got some new uh, social media info uh, it is uh, Bishop Speed on Facebook and on Instagram check those out I get some posts up and get some pictures up uh, you can contact me through there uh, do me a favor if you're gonna message me on Instagram if you could start it off with uh, with a, a um, the, the, uh, I guess a starting line of Big E. If you could have that as your first two words, I know you're not spam then. I'm getting s spammed like crazy So and people trying to scam me. So please, if you could put somewhere put Big E in the beginning, I would appreciate it. So that way I know you're not scam and then I don't delete you by accident when you have a legit question. Um, so again, Big E here. Watch out for each other. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time on Big E's YouTube channel. Thank you.